Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the Beta Plan playing Il Papa during our holy crusade for Jerusalem. We're probably going to lose this battle because the Night Hospitals are about to get their asses kicked in. And I don't know why England is either staying out of the battle or not fleeing up north where our forces are. Something I cannot help. Unfortunately, Hungary, I don't know why they did this with their 6,000 men, joined against against the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, that was very smart. Dude, he's already winning by 85%. <sighs> Probably they will not join our war. Moreover, I have to correct two small little things. Well, not small in a sense, because uh, House Geneva, which I by accidentally said was a thousand points, is 10,000 points. Yeah, that's not the lows. The lows are the Babenbergs. <clears throat> Just um, a little zero that I forgot. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, moreover, the uh, s mm, crusade that went so wrong has already happened long ago. That was not in the 1300s. That was in the 1200s. Yeah, that's only one number different, but that makes a hundred years different. Whoopsie. Apparently I had my numbers quite a bit wrong, so... But let's continue with our crusade, because we are sieging down, sieging down and sieging down more and more of this. And yes, this battle, losing this battle will be painful, but it will not be the end of the crusade. Oh, I'll go with my blessing. Join the Knights Templar, which means you join me. Right, logical. That, whoa, that cost us 3% war score. That is significant more war score than I imagined that would be. So this is another 3% war score that we're about to lose. England, why are you moving that way? Yeah, another 3% war score, more or less. When they are completely destroyed, it will probably be 3% war score. But I'm not moving into aid right now. That would be... Well, it would be... Pointless because we would lose all these sieges. And that is good. They're attacking us anyways. They're coming for us. Alrighty then. That is no problem. We have 20,000 men here. 18,000 men here. Uh, we're gonna move in. These sieges we will have to redo. That is something that is just too bad. But we need to win this battle. In fact, let's make sure that we immediately... Re no... I hate that when I do that. I hit caps lock instead of shift. Um, let's uh, say we lead to inspire. After all, we have declared this crusade ourselves. Voila. Down with you. And let's send uh, these 9,000 back here to siege this down. Very good. It is a city, so it shouldn't take too long to regain that siege value. Oh, you will not hold the kingdom of Jerusalem. It will go back to the king of Cyprus. And why, oh why are you not helping us in this war, you? <sighs> I think also my opinion of him is lower... I cannot check that, but I think it's both. It's now lowered because he's just not fight in the crusade. Oh my. Can I split something off here? Yes, I can split something off here. 2,000 men that way. Thank you that the rest is following. This battle will not be lost because that would be a dumb battle to lose. Thank you so much. We have a neutral army over here. There's a gray shield over here. Which neutral army is helping us siege? And why are they helping us sieging? More or less, what other war is going on that uh, people are sieging down Beirut? This is the army of... Army of Normandy. Why is Normandy over here? Mm, there is not another war. Oh, the Normandy has stopped, apparently. That is unfortunate. Nobody has stopped helping us. Uh, a castle that's constructed finished in Ypres. I don't hold Ypres. Wait, 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 what? 
Die print is over here. We have what? We have been given this. We have been given a barony. Okay. Thank you very much. Don't know what to do with it right now, but we have a barony. Might have been an event from the Knights Templars that has been given to us. Oh well. Uh, regardless of that. We still have quite a bit of man here. How many men do you still have, sir? 5,000 only, and we have more than enough troops here. This indeed is another mini series. Very good. Heck, we might want to decide what we want to do next, because after having called a crusade, by the way, you cannot call another crusade normally for another 10 years, I think. They can't happen, I think. Um, a priest has arrived and asks for an audience. After being shown in, he explains that the small children can no longer protect the holy relic it holds, due to robbers plaguing the countryside. He therefore asks your, for your family to keep it. Fear not, we shall protect it. Good, we gain... Ten piety, and we have now a holy relic. Which of course we should have. Uh, join the Knight Hospitalers if you think you can help there better than with the Knight Templars. Oh, how glorious in this. I am certain that in this episode we are going to win this freaking crusade. This crusade, well freaking, why, why would I call it freaking? It's the crusade I called in, of course. Holy heck, uh, we're going to turn around. These men need more help. We are going to uh, smack this down because we have more than 10... A ratio of 10 to 1. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! 91%! Can you feel the glory for God? Oh, please! 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 Come to Azur! To Sur! No, uh, not Azur! To Sur! Yes, try and siege this. We do not have like a huge army that is almost ready with sieging this in order to smack your face. Not at all. No, no, please, stay there. We will trap them <laughs> shortly. Uh, this army will do it because they will siege a lot quicker. Oh. I always feel quite exhilarated when you win these big, big wars. Uh, I have never done it on camera, but when you could still boat bomb, and that is going from the boat up to the land, with full moral, I once had a fight against the Mongol Empire, and they had all our men, almost almost 150,000 plus all that I conquered here, so about 200,000 versus my empire, which was all the way on this side. It was a battle of about 200,000 versus 320 or so that I had, I did not record it. Whereas I now know from, I think it is Reddit, it is actually officially the largest battle that has taken place, but I cannot, I don't have the evidence. Well, is this 3% war score worth, is the question. I do not know. But regardless, Pope Clemens V has, oh, this is gonna be it. This is going to be it. Pope Clemens V did not just say no to King Philippe. He said, I will make sure that the Templars will show that they are pure of heart and that no doubt will exist about the fact that they are good Christians. I will lead the Templars and retake Jerusalem. So help me God. The Catholic Crusade for Jerusalem has ended. Pope Clement V won. The Crusade for Jerusalem. The Blessed Virgin has granted King Henry II of Cyprus, which is ridiculous because he didn't fall in this war, victory in the Crusade for Jerusalem against Sultan Al Nasir Muhammad of the Bari Sultanate. Pope Clement V has called for a month of celebration across the whole Christian world. Praise the Blessed Virgin. Yes, look at this. Look at it. Look at it in awe. We can stand you down, my mercenaries. We will get the boats. And we will need to, uh... You! 
You are once again the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Please make that your main title and not Cyprus. Good. Uh, yeah, people are now quite annoyed with the fact that uh, we are spending a lot of money. Most likely our vassals. He still is holding on to Cyprus as the main title. I do not know why you would do that. We have reclaimed Jerusalem. Look at this. Oh, it's not an ugly color or anything. Cyprus is a pretty beautiful color, but you're the king of Jerusalem. You have so many titles. Oh, my man. Then, regardless of that fact, we have done our goal for this mini campaign. Oh, we might want to decide upon a new goal. Uh, well, let's see what here. Uh, I have seen Bishop Gion to handle swords, and it's not a pretty sight. Half the time, he seems to... Oh, this is a training. Yes, I will help him train. Why are he, is he asking me? I'm a theologian, man. Oh, well. We have arrived home once again. There are rumors that one of the rulers in Christendom is employing a heathen in his court. Ah, yes, we will not to do that. But we have arrived home in Rome. Hmm. Isn't it a pretty sight? You know what? Let's try and claim Urbino. For that is currently the only goal that I can think of momentarily to put the Papal State into... Uh, Get Ancona, get Urbino, get these lands, but that is just a simple conquest war. I am unsure what to uh, put up as the next uh, target. I think I will have to uh, deliberate that a little bit. But wow, did we change history. Did we change history. Because in a lit in less... Unless, because it was 22 when we won this war. In 10 years, from the point where King Philip V demanded the disbanding of the Knights Templar. And Pope Clement V, the Holy, said to him, I will make sure the Knights Templar are of true, true belief. And I will rectify any mistakes they may have made by leading them to recapture the kingdom of Jerusalem. Ten years after that proclamation, King Pope, I, would, I almost said King, Pope Clement V, the Holy, has delivered on to his promise. By the grace of God, Jerusalem is once again in the hands of Christianity. And our moral authority of our church is beyond 100%. There is no negative, actually, at all. And we are far beyond 100%. Thanks to Pope Clement V. Mm -hmm. I could go on for quite a bit more. But if you want to see me play as Il Papa and you know a good goal for us for me to achieve playing as Le Pope Man then please leave a comment if you liked this little mini mini campaign and enjoyed the way I play about in CK2 act these weird things with the Papal State then please leave a like or perhaps even subscribe and if you don't, hey man, that's all up to you. I won't force you. But, regardless of all that, I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty. Oh, what a beauty it is. Bye-bye.